beautiful Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your full moon reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm running a competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of this reading. Um, I will be choosing the winner on the 12th of April. That is uh, the new moon in Aries, which is a, a very crucial new moon of the year. Uh, it's a time for cultivating your vision. Okay, so let's get straight to your full moon reading. Now, the full moon occurs on the 28th of March. It's a super moon. Very important in terms of harnessing the energy. Uh, it's also called the worm moon. Um, it's a time for um, abundance, making way for abundance there. Whoa, after hard times. Now let's get straight to getting that card. One moment, please. That was quite explosive energy here. We have, you're very close to achieving your goal. Wow. So uh, definitely an energy of a breakthrough here of whatever it is you've been trying to manifest. Okay. Uh, you may... Uh, you may see that this is a full moon here as well. Uh, they're indicating um, that, well, actually it's gibbous moon, um, just to let you know. Um, we, they're indicating here that just before the full moon takes place, uh, you will feel like an extra power of energy surging, and you'll actually feel like things are changing in your favor. Uh, so don't give up on your dreams or your goals, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Everyone's idea of success and ambition is different. So whatever it is you're trying to uh, manifest, uh, you will, you're very close to it. So please don't give up your visualizations or your manifestations because they're so close, okay? We also have, it's time to take action. So you're getting a thumbs up from the universe uh, to indicate that whatever it is you're trying to go ahead with, um, now's the time. I mean, look, you got new moon in Aries. Very, very important. You could have got any card in there, but you definitely got the full moon, uh, sorry, the new moon in Aries. That is the time for that dream to sort of come alive. Very important time for you, 28th of March, right through to 12th of April. Some people call uh, the worm moon the crust moon as well, because the snow sort of disappears and the first crust of the earth uh, sort of uh, starts to blossom with spring. Your dreams need a practical plan, okay? So take action, make that plan. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, uh, it's coming to you. They've asked me to go one more, interestingly enough. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, God and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? For those of you who are interested, I'm using the Moonology deck, okay? Uh, we have, your hard work is paying off. So they really want to highlight. I mean, every card that you got there, you could have got, there's lots in there, those cards, you know, things like this is not going to work out, etc., etc. But you got very positive cards out of that Moonology deck, indicating that whatever you're working really hard on, it's about to pay dividends. It's, it's about to pay fruition here. Um, so, yeah, uh, your goals and dreams are starting to basically manifest on the physical plane. Okay, now let's see the overall energy for the time period I've set, which is the 28th of March right through to the 12th of April. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What can my beautiful Cancerians expect during this time? The Emperor card, wow. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, you can't get more positive th than that. We got the Emperor card in the protagonist energy. That is an Aries card. That is the doer, okay? Someone who is planning for the future, structure. Uh, there is success here, domination. Now, Cancer, I don't always see you as a sign of domination because you're very intuitive, you're very emotive. Uh, that is your superpower. That is a wonderful aspect about you. Um, but I feel like you're taking control of a certain area in order to use your intuition, use your emotion to rise up there and um, oh well, um, be very successful in a certain area. Now, this could be to do with love as well. We will clarify this energy a little bit further. Um, but I see you definitely making some changes to plan for the future, whether you're thinking about moving home or job or thinking about, you know, being bold and asking for that raise or going for that promotion, there's success here in, in the cards for you. So definitely a time to rise up. Uh, now you could even be thinking about moving abroad or uh, even booking a vacation thinking, I need something good to look forward to because there's been a bit of an energy of disappointment, of not being able to go forward, of being blocked, unprepared for certain circumstances. And you know, um, you, you felt a little bit stuck in a rut. We also have the Wheel of Fortune here indicating things are going to be turned around in your favor. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, is about cycles we all go through them as humans 
we go through the ups, we go through the downs. You may have been going through the downs for a little while there, my beautiful Cancerians. Felt stuck in a rut, felt things are out of your control, and felt like maybe you even had a bit of bad uh, run of bad luck. Okay, but things are working out in your favor now. There's, uh, it's like the end of misfortune if you felt like you had a bit of chaotic energy or whatever it is you were resisting as well or was resisting you. So if you're going after a dream or after a person or love, for example, uh, it's the end of resistance. Uh, it's, it's a turnabout. Good karma is coming your way. And this is your destiny. Um, when fortune's wheel steps in, you'll start to see a lot of synchronicity, double numbers, um, meaningful sentences, you know, things like... Um, they're just showing me someone, well, this may have happened to you, I'm not sure, it may have happened recently, I don't imagine many people are traveling right now, but they're indicating someone being on the subway, going up an escalator. Now, an escalator did come up uh, a couple of readings ago for another sign, maybe it was your sign, Cancer, I can't really remember off the top of my head, but they're showing me again, someone going up an escalator, or a travelator type thing, and there's all those little billboards along the side, you know, pictures of things, and you may have been thinking about something um, that you're wrestling with in your mind, that you uh, were sort of struggling over, or thinking, oh gosh, it's never happening, why is this not happening? And there was like a billboard or a picture that said something like, have faith, uh, everything's about to turn in your favor, or have faith, um, you're on the rise. It was something like that, that's what they're giving me, it's something about having faith, Okay, and you look to the billboard and you're like, whoa, that's my sign. That is a sign from the universe for me to just be positive thinking. Now, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. That's not going to fit to everybody. They want it to be very precise to pinpoint someone in particular to pay close attention to the reading. Does not mean it's not your reading. If it does not connect to you, please don't try to make it fit. Uh, this may be something that you're ex you're going to experience within the time period I've set as well. So just remember it in your mind. But if it does not resonate for you, um, it just means they want that person in particular to um, pay attention. Their attention may have wandered from this reading. Uh, so they're just bringing them back in, okay? Uh, does not mean this is not your reading. But lucky turn of events here. You're going to be in the right place, the right time, meeting the right people. Um, and even if you're looking for love, there'll be a, a bit of a surprise. But let's see what's going on there. Now, we also have the world card. So the world is about a closure of a cycle. You've got two cards indicating a cycle and a release to allow you to move forward. Uh, so that is a wonderful sign that um, you've come as far as you can within a certain situation and now you're moving into another arena, a more successful one. Okay. Now, um, also, there's been some lesson that you had learned uh, in this situation. The world card indicates... Um, you know, you're you're moving through a time where you understand your role within uh, your universe and also your efforts are coming full circle. So either you're, they're really highlighting this for me, the uh, victory wreath right in the center. So either you've just completed a project or you've completed something, it's going to be very, very successful, very victorious. They're indicating some sort of recognition for a job well done there with that card, okay? Um, and I feel like now, this is not going to appeal to everybody, but there's something here. It's about a statue. So I'm not sure what that is. Either it's an award that is in the figurine of a statue or something, or perhaps your company that you work for has some sort of figurine that is a statue that is noticeably um, sort of a, a brand type thing for your company. I'm not sure what that is, so please take that as it resonates. And we've also got the judgment card. So a lot of decisions to make here with the judgment card. Uh, you may even be uh, being judged for some sort of competition, okay? Um, like, uh, you know, you may have entered like poetry or writing or some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of dissertation or something. Uh, you may be uh, judged for this and you're going to be very, very successful. You're going to be very satisfied with the outcome. And I feel like uh, recognition is coming your way. Um, and this is your hard work. Okay, Cancer, it's not just luck. This is your hard work, so own it. Um, also, with the Judgment card, there is like a, cru like a crux. You know, you're at a, a fork in the road kind of thing. You have a decision to make. You're weighing up your options. Now, you may be thinking about the bigger questions like your life's purpose, where you've come from, where you are now, and where you need to go. There's clarity, um, and there's like a final decision to be made. You could also see people coming back into your world for second chances, whether that's... Um, Second opportunities to, um, you know, if you felt like you missed out on a job opportunity, for example, there's a second chance there with another option or a person from the past that you may have um, not be in a relationship with anymore. They come back around. Judgment is about second chances and you weighing up that. But we got the world card there. 
So it could be that something you felt was done or that you've had closure on, it, you thought it was over, but they're coming back for a second term, or um, you were thinking about closing it down. Uh, we got the tower. It is definitely a surprise. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, Cancer, but whenever I do my readings, and I do know, I say it quite a lot, whenever you get a Wheel of Fortune, you often get a tower moment as well. Uh, and that's because it's like, surprise, the universe, the hand of fate is intervening in your world to take something away that was not working for you in order to replace it with something better. The tower just represents surprise, okay? Some people say it's unwanted surprise. Some people just say, you know, it's just uh, something that's unseen, okay? Um, and it does bring some sort of transformative energy with it. It does not mean that your whole world is crumbling down, Cancer. What it does mean is that the hand of fate or fate is intervening, those lightning bolts there, hit the crown chakra so that you start to open up and know what is right for you. Uh, as you can see, it sets the building, the castle kind of thing, the tower on fire. If those butterflies remained in the tower, they'd be burnt. Worse off, they'd be over. It's game over, okay? They may have been sitting on the fence, trapped in indecision. So, um, you know, the, the universe comes along to present you a set of things that you were not expecting, a set of circumstances you were not expecting to make a decision. The decision often requires a leap of faith or coming out of your comfort zone, and it transforms. That's why the butterflies are there. It's a transformative energy for you to blossom, okay? So don't be afraid of that tower moment. A lot of people... When we clarify it, we'll see. It could be something that, you know, I mean, no human really likes change, that they don't sort of put in action themselves. But because you've got the Emperor card there, I feel like you're owning it, okay? Um, so let's see what is happening here for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? Ooh, um, I'm just going to go get that card. I'm using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed um, You only read uprights in the stack, just to let you know. Six of air, moving forward, okay? So definitely a rite of passage. Some sort of transformative energy is coming your way, but it allows you to move forward for victory, okay? This is, again, you thinking about perhaps moving. There's, uh, we've got one, two cards there, two major cards there that indicate either you're thinking about moving home, moving job, or uh, even like planning a vacation. It's, it, it needs to be something to look forward to. I feel like you've been in an energy where you're like, I can't stay like this anymore because you're feeling suffocated. And Cancer, when you start to feel suffocated, your emotions, you can't hide those. You know, what you see is what you get with a Cancerian person, and that's what I love, because there's, you know, you've got such hidden depths, but you just, it's not that you just wear your heart on your sleeve, which I think is a wonderful, uh, brave kind of attitude um, and way to live. Not everyone can be as open as you, which is wonderful, but when things are off, then you just hide away and you become very distant immediately. There's no sort of like, okay, well, I'm going to try and knuckle through. You do knuckle through, but still people know that you're not your usual self, okay? Um, you do not wear a mask, which is wonderful, and I love that, okay? But I feel like if you've been going through some sort of tough time, you're moving forward. This, this is like a rite of passage. You had to go through this in order to come to calmer waters, okay? There was a dilemma here, but now you're moving forward, okay? So it is to gain greater wisdom when you get this card because air is about uh, knowledge, it's about communication. So um, if you're an entrepreneur, Cancer, uh, you may have had a bit of a tough time and tried to navigate some difficult waters, but you're moving forward through to better times, okay? If you're trying to set up your own business, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed uh, by all the, you know, ins and outs, the contracts, because they're showing me lots of contracts and figures and numbers. You may have been feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the whole experience, but you're going to be very successful, okay? Uh, just to let you know. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide... Now, Five of Fire. So, yeah, Five of Fire is about honoring creative differences, okay? Um, now, there may have been a bit of conflict. This is why I'm mentioning it, but you are moving forward. The Five of Fire indicates um, either some sort of challenge that you've been trying to overcome there, uh, something that you may have been really passionate about, or someone that you may have been really passionate about. Now, what's interesting is the Six of Air is over the uh, Aries card of the uh, Emperor. There could have been somebody that you uh, butted egos with or uh, you and this person um, didn't get along and I feel like you're letting it go and letting it flow because your abundance lies ahead and they're going to watch you rise. Uh, this may have been someone that was uh, a, a rival uh, who did not have your best interests at heart. I feel like you're starting to look at the picture with greater wisdom like, you know what, we've all got our differences, we've all got our own ways of doing things, there is no right or wrong way that person's way may be their right way, 
but your right way is something that you own by yourself and no one should ever tell you any different. If it's something to learn that you think can help you, absolutely, you'd be willing to take on board any uh, advice from people. But uh, I feel like very much it's it's kind of like let bygones be bygones with this energy. Now there could also be, uh, I will read this in terms of love in a moment because you may be stepping away from somebody or someone has stepped away from you, um, which has created a lot of drama and uh, conflict there. Um, but again, I feel like you're in an energy that if you want to walk away from me, close the door on the way out because I know what I'm worth. I know that I deserve better. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here pining for you. It's your loss. That's the energy that I'm getting. But uh, let's see what's going on there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Ooh, Ten of Water. Loving that. They've asked me to go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful whoa that is a lot and uh i think they want them let me see oh they just came off they caught, got caught on my watch so that is not um i'm just gonna see if they want these one moment please no they said no move on okay let us go i do apologize about that uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Point Angels. These cards are very uh, large, okay? I've only got little bitty hands, so uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Point Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding... Thank you so much. We have the Ten of Water. This is a lot of abundance here. Your emotional uh, well-being is the most important, Cancer. So whatever rivalry or whatever obstacle this was, you're finding a way through it to peace to serenity, to good fortune and well-being. The Ten of Water indicates a huge amount of abundance coming your way. It is no uh, mistake that it coincides with the energy of the Wheel of Fortune stepping on in and you making some serious decisions. This is a time for plenty. This is a time for abundance. The Ten of Water is, uh, you know, um, abundance flows to you effortlessly because it is a time, uh, you know, of receiving good karma. Uh, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down as humans, as, as I said there. Uh, but there's definitely, uh, you're in a natural sort of flow, uh, which is to receive, okay? Because you've given a lot, Cancer. You are always giving to people and, and looking after people with your wonderful um, kind of supportive energy. Hmm, interesting. Some of those cards that did fall out earlier, they have reappeared, I've noticed. Um, but... Some of them were not meant for you. So we got the King of Air, okay? Um, this is an important conversation coming on in for you. Um, I feel either you're dealing with someone who's Gemini or, uh, you know, I feel like you're stepping into either a leadership role or there's a, a very big conversation to come towards you and it's almost like you're getting the truth of it, okay? Digging for the truth. Uh, you've been thinking about this for a long time, whatever this is. Um, now, either it is to do with your business, um, that you, you feel like it's time to expand or it's time to set up that business that you're thinking about. I feel like you may have even wondered whether, um, how can I put that? You may have even wondered whether you're on the right path, okay? Uh, because the King of Air is, um, is a leader, Cancer. And again, I feel like you're stepping into a role or a position where you have more responsibility. But And you may have been a, bit, a little bit nervous about it, but I feel very much like um, you are in the zone, okay? You're uh, intellectually way on point. You're using reason over instinct. Um, which sometimes can be good because, you know, you're a very emotional um, creature, which is awesome. I love that about you, Scorpio here. Uh, you know, I, I honor that. Uh, intuition, I always say, is over everything. But there are some, some circumstances that you have to remove emotion in order for... And I hate this word, but they're giving it to me. I hate these words that they're giving me, uh, but I do understand where they're coming from. Um, sometimes you remove emotion from a certain situation so that people take you seriously. So they cannot say, oh, you're just, you know, um, you're just letting emotion, your emotions, or uh, you're just letting it be too personal towards you. I feel like you're in business mode. I feel like, um, you, you know, you're using logic and people, um, whatever you're negotiating or setting rules on here, I feel like, um, you're going after the truth and nothing but the truth. And I feel like you're leading with integrity, okay? People are going to take you very, very seriously, whatever this is. Um, now, as I said, I will clarify this in terms of love uh, because we do have the twin, uh, well, we got 
the twin flame soulmate card here the lover so um i, I will clarify this energy in a moment um but they really want to talk about your career three of wands three of fire there is about expansion it is about uh, being on the right path and if you doubted yourself please don't doubt um, as you can see the shell is there uh, the shell often indicates listening um, you know listening to your inner guide your true self um, and knowing that actually you are on the way so um, there's an en another energy here about uh, expansion now they also don't want you to um, if you've got rivals in a workspace that you work in or a an arena that you work in an industry that you work in um, please don't compare yourself to anybody, okay? Because um, they're indicating there is only one you, and that is your superpower, Cancer. Remember that, okay? You've got what it takes to rise to the top, and you're on your way. There, I feel like you've taken a lot of stepping stones. You may have been waiting for results for something for a little while, but now you're on the move. So very, very important time for you. I'm going to pull a card on Temptation, because that is the Devil card, okay? Now... I just want to clarify this energy because I feel like there's definitely a return here from someone, as I said uh, in the past, I said it earlier with the uh, judgment card. Um, I feel like this may be a distraction for you. This is someone who may come in and out of your life. When I touch this card, I feel like a very transient energy. Someone who comes in and out of your life and sometimes takes your attention away from what you're doing. Okay. Um, now, not that you don't give 100% to whatever it is you're trying to um, achieve. I feel like you're definitely, you know, you got your eye on the prize there. But there's someone who sometimes, I don't know, takes your attention elsewhere or something takes your attention elsewhere. Let's see what that is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I mean, there's a reason why. I was feeling that judgment card. The judgment card is showing up again to clarify it, okay? Um, so, there's someone coming on in here. They've been very slow to offer you anything, okay? This person, they are presenting as someone who wants to have a reliable relationship with you after a long time of perhaps sort of dipping a toe in and sort of pussyfooting about. This person, um, I feel like it's so interesting, Cancer. It's almost like as soon as you take your attention away from this person and go, I'm shutting this down, I'm closing it, I'm, so I'm done. Okay, um, cancer waits for nobody. Okay, um, along they come with an offer. Now, I want to pull a card on this person because I'm clarifying the devil right now. So maybe you, uh, or the temptation, uh, there's a temptation here to, uh, it feels like there's a temptation here to reject this person because we got the judgment uh, in the reverse. Uh, there's a temptation to sort of feel like um, you're, it's interesting, it's like, it's almost like this person's your kryptonite, your weakness, okay? I feel like um, you may not even trust this person's offer because they've come in so many times and not delivered that you feel like um, this person is not meant for you, okay? It's interesting because the temptation card comes right before the lover's card, okay? Now, the lover's card does indicate that you have a choice. Should you be with this person? Should you not be with this person? Um, it is your choice. We will clarify that. But there is a seven of swords right next to it, okay? Which indicates, um, you know, either this person walked away or ran away from the connection. And, um, you know, as a result, or maybe you did, Cancer. Uh, as a result, there's, there's, it left someone open here to vulnerability. And I feel like um, we got a seven of swords here. So or seven of air, there's a fear that that could happen again. Um, and I feel like you're not conforming to this. It's almost like you're not conforming to the pattern anymore. And maybe this person will learn the lesson because of it. Okay. So I feel like even though this person comes in, I feel like you're resisting this or you're, uh, even though they're presenting as coming in as wanting a solid relationship, but you don't trust it. Okay. Um, now this person may have an earth placement, a uh, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus. This person, um, as I said, there may have been something that you're questioning about this person or feel like they're in a toxic energy, toxic behavior. Um, you may not, uh, you may feel an, uh, addicted to this person at one point or obsessed with this person. I feel like this person's definitely obsessed with you, uh, but I feel like you're trying to detach yourself from this because, um, it's opened your beautiful heart up to hurt and pain, and I feel like now you're in a guarded energy, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune has shown up with this. This is the second time the Wheel of Fortune is in your... Um, I don't know if you noticed my voice just went really high. Wheel of Fortune, I don't know what that is, but you know when you get very excited about something? Um, your voice actually raises, okay? So I feel like there is something exciting coming here for you. Uh, but there is a turn of events here, 
there's change. There's change here. This person's received karma, okay? And this person, the, the one that I, I feel like deep down you have a lot of deep feelings for and that you may have felt like you had to give yourself closure on this. Um, this person's coming back around, okay? And uh, they want to uh, unify with you. This person, um, they, they can never stop thinking about you, this person. I mean, this person may even be that King of Swords energy, someone who wants to talk, who wants to tell you the truth, someone who wants to embrace uh, honesty and come towards you and have that big conversation. Uh, either way, I, there's something about it, Cancer, that you're like, I don't know, I don't believe it. I just I just don't, I don't trust this anymore. I'm not sure, okay? I'm just gonna pull another card on this person's intentions uh, because they're presenting as the Knight of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians, what do they need to know about this Knight of Pentacles? What do they need to know about this Knight of Pentacles? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much. Yeah, look, we got another Six of Swords, okay? You got you opened with a Six of Swords, Six of Air there, Six of Air again. Um, so this is someone that, uh, you know, you may have been stuck on for quite some time. Um, someone that made you unhappy in the end. Uh, but th at one point, this was your dream come true, this person, okay? This person is stuck on you. They cannot let you go, okay? And they're unable to move forward without you, just to let you know. Um, they feel that you are their wish come true and they are unhappy without you. You can't fast track this. This person is very slow to work or to offer. And, you know, I don't advocate anyone waiting a long time for anything, Cancer. So if this person is not presenting and showing you the goods that they mean business and they're stringing you along, of course use your wonderful intuition. But they're indicating here that the Emperor is showing up. So male or female, it's an energy uh, about planning for the future. This person wants a long haul with you, okay? So they're showing, uh, that their intention here is that they feel unhappy without you. They cannot let you go. They're stuck. They're unable to move on, okay? Um, now, also, uh, if you're waiting for a job, for example, um, you know, and you've been uh, it's, you've been sort of in limbo waiting for a job opportunity, that Nine of Pentacles indicates it's been a long time waiting for, but it's coming in and it's solid and it will bring a lot of money, uh, a, a reliable amount of money, um, and I feel like it will grow exponentially from there, okay? So I feel like there is a lot of uh, financially exciting times to come for you um, that is solid. I feel like you're on really good ground. Uh, now we have the Lover's card here. As I said, there's a choice. Now this could be, I'm going to apply it to business first before I move into the love again. In terms of business, you may be partnering up with a new company or a, a new department, a new team. Uh, maybe even if you're an entrepreneur or setting up your own business, you may be partnering up with somebody that you really trust, someone who you feel is a member of your soul tribe. There's deep partnership here, and I feel like it's the right choice for you. You're going to make the right choices. It may have been scary, okay, uh, because they're really showing how big that lion is in comparison to that feminine figure. Again, my cards do not uh, have gender to them. I, I read the energy, but I'm just describing the card. Um, they're indicating here that um, whatever task this was, because they're showing me the contracts again, so you may have felt it was really daunting at first, but actually once you get going, you see that it was it's a walk in the park, okay? That's the energy I'm getting from this. I'm going to pull a quick card on that for you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. I feel like you're building a solid foundation for your future, and that there is definitely unification here, but there are choices. Uh, you'll be in harmony no matter what. Um, Ooh, okay, so they really want to talk about love, just to let you know. But this could also be business. It could be someone from your past um, that you felt did not really um, support you too much in the past, but is coming back around. They're indicating there is an opportunity coming back around um, that you may be conflicted about. Because we got a Three of Cups there in the reverse. We have the Six of Cups in the upright, and we've got the Two of Swords there. So there's decisions to be made, but something is coming back around. Whether it is a job opportunity that uh, either you got rejected from in the past and I really do not see you wanting to take that up again out of pride okay this is the card of pride also it's a Leo card so uh, just uh, be mindful of that if it's a really good opportunity sometimes you know I've had to swallow my pride in the past you know sometimes you just got to do that because it works out for you in the better uh, the universe brings you those circumstances around so that you can break through ego in order to rise up for something better so just be mindful of that I don't know why they're channeling that but they're giving me that uh, they give me a name Marissa Marissa so either your name is Marissa or uh, someone who offers you a job as Marissa could be a love interest if you're uh, looking for a feminine energy Marissa that could be their surname 
it could be someone you work with introduces you to someone please take it as it resonates it's not going to be for everyone uh, you could even be looking at the word marissa right now as you're listening uh, to this reading um they're just showing me crackers crackers like like water biscuits okay um so either you're settling down to some of that and cheese right now <laughs> so they're showing me a little bit of cheese on the side if you're having crackers and cheese or water biscuits and cheese right now as you listen to this reading there's something in this message for you that's not going to resonate for everybody but they're just uh show show me that and my gosh the images are coming really thick and fast now uh they're showing me someone opening their curtains and revealing the light now, either you're actually just opening your curtains right now or your blinds or something. Um, there's something in this message for you, if that's you. If not, I feel like there's illumination. Okay, spiritually, I can sort of decode that as illumination, but you're doing it. You're setting yourself free. You're opening yourself to the light, and I feel like you're rising up. Um, now, in terms of love, because this is the lover's card, you know, um, there is a return from someone in the past, as you can see, that Six of Cups. You know, you may not want to talk about the past cancer. I don't certainly like talking about my past either. But when they come up in the cards, it's for a reason. So please look up the meanings of the cards. Uh, I can't, I have no control over what comes out. Spirit gives you the card you're meant to see. Um, that indicates um, there is something um, that is deserving for you coming back. Um, perhaps this person has got something solid to offer after a period of not offering anything. Now, this person may have had addictive qualities may have addictions, may have had addictions, they may be releasing them, um, they may have not have supported the union in the past, but it's left you with a conundrum, you're undecided. So similar energy as to what I got when I was pulling uh, cards on the temptation card, there's definitely something coming back around. Now they really want me to look at this six of cups, okay? They're indicating here that someone is going to be the bigger person. Okay, now maybe the, if, if I don't apply this to love, if it's to do with friendship, for, for example, if you fell out with someone, there was some sort of conflict with someone and you thought about ending it and thought, well, screw that person. They've really hurt me really deeply, betrayed me. You're moving forward and they're going to watch you rise. I feel like this person may return to give you an apology. I feel like they're going to be the bigger person and offer you like a peace offering. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this card. I don't often get that with this card. I feel like this is someone that you really trusted, had in your inner circle. Uh, before it's almost like they were part of your household or something okay uh, and by that I mean uh, you know they're, they're the soul tribe kind of energy um, but you may have had a bit of a falling out that's not gonna be for everyone um, now we have the seven of air cancer as I said right at the beginning even if um, there are certain rules that you've been given, I feel like you're doing things on your own terms, okay? The Seven of Air indicates um, non-conformity. In this particular deck, it's about you're very unique. That is your superpower. Don't ever change. There's only one of you, okay? Uh, now, th they've, they've given this image to me before, but they're uh, showing it to me again. They obviously want me to transmute it to you because there's something important there for you. So I do apologize if you've heard this before from me, uh, but they're showing me a set of fingerprints. And whenever they show me that, that's about A, you making your mark in a situation or in someone's heart. Definitely making a mark because of your uniqueness. Not everybody, well, there's only one person with your set of fingerprints, right, Cancer? And that's you. So there is only one you, as I said earlier, and that is your superpower. And that's what they're indicating here with this card. Even if you look up the meaning in this particular deck about this card, it is about living life on your own terms, not conforming, and having that independence of spirit, okay? Now, also, there's an energy here of walking away. Seven of, uh, seven of uh, air is often about running away or feeling like... Uh, you're the only person who's got your back in this situation. So I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that energy that's coming through. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancer? What is this uh, Seven of Air? Can you please clarify this energy for me? Ooh. Okay, we have, okay. Yeah, I mean, you're getting again the same energy. Uh, my, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave those there because I need to clarify something actually. Um, so someone who ran away from you, as I said, this person's coming back around, okay? We got this, the Four of Swords in the reverse. This was a very painful ending. So I'm sending you out a huge hug. Cancer, I've been there through heartbreak and I know it brings you to your knees. And then you even wonder, like, there's no, you know, it's rock bottom, okay? I understand that. So when you're in the midst of it, it is, it's tough. But this person's coming around to talk. They're coming around to uh, 
own their part of uh, what happened because obviously it takes two to tango I'm not here to take sides I'm not here to judge anyone I feel like you will be judging this person's uh, co conversation all the swords are pointed up there's a communication open dialogue coming here I feel like this person does want to tell you the truth and they want to have a, a new passionate start with you um, the ace indicates uh, you know is divinely guided so again the hand of fate stepping in in here at, this person has an urge to reach out to you and tell you how they feel, how they have been feeling, because uh, they've been waiting for you. And I feel like you've taken back the power. And you're like, I'm not going to message this person. It will be a cold day in hell before I message this person. That's the energy that I'm getting. OK, so if you've been resisting it, um, this person's coming on in to talk to you. Uh, now, you could have been dealing with twin flame energy here as well because you got that lover's card. Um, but I feel like also, Cancer, you've been trying to manifest new. OK, so that's why I need to pull a card on this, because aces often bring new. But I feel like there's a return of somebody who owes you an apology and they're coming on in to um, tell you that they can't stop thinking about you. They are. I feel like it, this message that comes on in, it will be masqueraded as kind of a sexy kind of text at first. It's trying to, this person doesn't know how to open up straight away because they want to see, they feel like you're going to be very cold to them, very logical. And I feel like you are. I feel like you're taking the emotion out of the situation. So this person's going to sort of tiptoe into your, uh, just to see how the, the, the things are with you, how you're going to receive them. And it's going to be kind of like, uh, you know, you know, when people send you that kind of message where it's kind of sexy and cheeky and you think it, it can only bring a smile to your face, even if you're really damn angry at that person. I feel like this person's got that kind of skill and they're going to do that first. So you're like, oh, you know what? Screw you. You even made me smile, but you'll never I'll never show you that. OK, um, I feel like you may hold off for a while if you even uh, think about messaging them. I feel like you, the three of wands there indicates, you know, waiting. OK, I feel like you're going to keep them waiting and you may be even trying to manifest someone new um, and because of what's gone on in the past. OK, I don't feel like you're going to jump in straight away and go, oh, my God, I've been waiting to hear from you. Uh, no, not at all. I feel like you're in a different mindset now. OK, let me just pull one more card on this manifesting something new. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, King of Wands in the reverse. If this person is an Aries, you feel like this is there something about this person you don't trust probably because they come on in you, you may be misjudging the uh text message but uh or the message that this person comes in because i feel like they're masquerading a lot of deep emotion the moon card there's a lot of emotions here for you okay um and they're going to reveal them but at first i feel like uh you're indicating you're like no i'm not ready to receive you i'm not ready to talk to you yet you know you really did a number on me um i'm i'm, I'm stopping that right now okay i feel like um you're investing in yourself this person really wants to work on it with you they want to mend it they really want um to work things out um but i feel like you're like you know what i'm kind of good working on myself right now um manifesting something new even if you really wanted this person i feel like there's a stubborn energy here cancer please don't shoot the messenger i'm only transmuting what i'm being given um but i feel like there's a temptation to resist this person or deny them completely because of what they did to you in the past. Spirit's indicating that this time they may have something to offer. So just be mindful. Use your own intuition. They're giving me the word discernment. So, yeah, use your discernment in this situation. Also, we got the moon card. OK, moon card is about illusions being shed here, having fear, uh, things coming to the surface um, and being aware of uh, the inner answers. You know, what lies within the lessons that you've learned. You've really looked at your shadow side, Cancer, and I feel like um, there's an energy here of um, do you want to settle down with this person for the long haul and feel safe or do you not feel safe? Do you feel like this person's really wild and could run wild with your heart uh, throughout the test of time? And you are like left running, uh, wondering whether you chose the wrong option. Uh, you may have some options coming on in here for you as well um at the moment in the time period i've set i only see that the person from the past is coming in to talk to you um i do not see uh, I, well i feel like you are manifesting somebody new and there's a lot of abundance coming here uh let me just see i'm going to see the after the time period i've set can you tell me about new quickly before we close the reading whoa one moment i'm just going to go get that card Yeah, you got choices. You got choices coming on in. Uh, they're being a bit non-committal to um, saying when, 
So obviously you have to close this down or mend it, depending on what you want to do with this situation. Now they're really indicating that someone's got a very, uh, it's either a migraine or something. It's on the right hand side. It feels like a throbbing in the side of the head on the right hand side. It's not quite a migraine or a headache, but there's like a little pain that's shooting there and it's throbbing. If that's you, uh, there's something in this message for you, but obviously, you know, take good care of yourself, rest. If I'm not medically trained, but if you feel like uh, something not right there, obviously check it out, of course. Um, but uh, they're just indicating that maybe it's about stress maybe that you get a little throbbing um pain in the side of your right hand side um due to stress because i feel like when you're presented with a lot of choices cancer it's hard uh, you know it feels like overwhelming okay um and i do feel like you're in indecision so that's when your tower comes along to make you choose something that this person from the past says makes you help you uh, helps you make that decision just to let you know um, we will leave it there my beautiful cancerians if you are looking for a job opportunity as, as i said it's coming on in uh, either you're stepping into a role with more responsibility your good communication skills you will be negotiating a better deal for yourself as well so remember your worth because you are unique okay now i think i've only got this card once we have kindred spirits Cancer, we have kindred spirits. So that's about finding your soul tribe. As I said, you will be partnering up with the right people or the right people will be coming into your life. Also, this person from your past, there's definitely an energy of kindred spirits. You and this person, I feel like you've had uh, past life uh, connections with this person. Um, it's like twin flame, okay? That's what I'm getting there. So obviously, choose wisely. Only you know. Um, but it's interesting this person said, can you see these two people? They're in a glass bell, a gla glass jar, okay? It's almost like you and this person are in your own little world. The butterfly indicates this can be transformed, okay? You and this person have a lot of lessons to learn. You got the world card there, so perhaps the lessons have been learned. We've got healing, okay? You've done a lot of healing in this situation. Again, see two bottles in the background. One butterfly over one bottle. You know, there's been transformation here. Maybe you're waiting for the other one to... Uh, rise as well your counterpart to actually have spiritual growth we have compassion this situation does call for compassion um especially with your kindred spirits um they've also got here magic the word magic okay um but the, the pathway is becoming clear also we have listening so listen to your heart listen to your intuition it will never lead you astray uh, also listen to the other person Listen to what they got to say, okay, before you make your decision. Uh, we have release. So that I do get an energy here. Either it's a release of stress, a release of baggage from the past, or a release of this person, or an old job. There's definitely you letting go or shutting, closing down some sort of situation, um, releasing anything that you feel is holding you back in order to move forward for something better. Even if it's old habits, old patterns, anything that you feel is making you feel stuck, you're releasing your, your energy to uh, gain something greater. The full moon is important in this, okay? Um, it gives you a power up because they're really highlighting the moon for me. Um, oh, I just picked up this card and they just said justice. Justice. So justice, I mean, the justice card is about a win-win situation for you. Uh, some sort of truth coming out in order to help you make a solution um, to a situation. Justice. Maybe you're getting justice, uh, you know, you're getting good karma. You're getting the justice that you deserve in a situation, uh, even though it says strength, okay? Strength is about uh, self-confidence, about self-love, self-respect. Have the courage to go after what it is you truly um, desire. Um, there's also the word star above there. And, oh my gosh, uh, they're saying something in another language. One moment, please. Oh my God, I'm, I'm probably going to get this totally wrong, but they're saying La Vie, La Vie S. Bell, Bella, Les Vie, La Vie S. Bell. Oh gosh, it's going so quick. I can't, um, I feel like it is, um, La Vie, I feel like it's like the good life or something, uh, a good time. No, the good life or something. So I, I do apologize for my absolutely atrocious French. I'm guessing it's French because la, la vie, c'est la vie, right? That's life. 
I've, I've heard that sentence before. Anyway, I'm going to move on from that. Perhaps you're looking at a poster or something that's got uh, what I just said. I'm not going to repeat it to, <laughs> that was painful for you all to listen to, um, but I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, um, maybe you're looking at something that says that, or you've just written that. It's about the good life. Maybe that's what you're trying to manifest. Um, but it starts with your confidence, okay? Your belief in self. And also the star is indicating uh, healing is important, but also the stars are aligning for you to rise up in strength there, okay? To have the courage to go after what it is you truly desire. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, I'm just going to finally give you a uh, wisdom of the oracle before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know before I close this reading? I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. We have a change in the wind. Ain't that the truth, okay? Things, as you can see, are being shed. Everything's bl being blown away. Anything that you do not need. But as you can see, still standing in something that is a very solid structure, okay? Um, now, let's see what that means in the book. It's number 12, which is the a number of the hangman. So, uh, you know, you've been waiting a long time for this. And uh, you've gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of truth. Uh, but there's definitely change happening here. The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune indicates... There's big changes. I'll give you the prosperity message first. Uh, yeah. As you endeavor to create a prosperous life, you may encounter unexpected reversals that cause you to shift directions. This is a good thing, so there is nothing to fear. Perhaps an opportunity you sought went to somebody else. Perhaps you've pursued something that you suddenly realize is not in your highest good. You might not be 100% clear on where you need to go, but you are certain that things are not going as planned. Circumstances are not in your control right now. Wait it out. All will be well. Even better, actually. Trust. So yeah, definitely that energy. As I said, you know, if you miss out on an opportunity, it went to somebody, well, it, it, I, I feel like the opportunity comes back around. It doesn't have to be from that particular place, or uh, but there's definitely an opportunity coming back around that is greater than what you were going for in the first place, okay? And the relationship message. Relationships go through periods where, pa where partners seem out of sync with each other and stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better first and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from the drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. Okay, so perhaps if you're in separation from this person, it will give you and this person an opportunity to really miss each other. I know they say absence makes a heart grow fonder, but, and I always say, yeah, well, out of sight, out of mind. Um, but, you know, I really feel like this person's realized what they lost not having you in their life, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? We have, whoa. Number one, we have the hugest key that I ever had in that box, in that trinket uh, bowl there. So the huge key to unlocking it all is to know that you have come as far as you can within the situation. I always uh, see this circle as you coming full circle and connecting to the world card. Um, that is unlocking everything. Lessons have been learned. There's completion here. There's fulfillment. And it's time to move on to a more um, lucrative and abundant phase, okay? They actually want this on the Wheel of Fortune. So there's definitely going to be an event that changes everything for the better. Uh, some sort of a lucky break or being in the right place at the right time. Definitely a shift in your um, fortune. And we also have the crown, okay? Uh, that connects to the Emperor card. Uh, feel very much like you are rising up for either a position of power uh, with more responsibility or you're planning for something in the future. This is being at the top of your game, okay? This is about, remember, Cancer, you wear the crown, okay? And then everybody, you, whatever you need magnetizes towards you. That's not egotistical. It's just to remember your power, okay? So, um, yeah, you got the crown there. Where would you like this? Where would you like this? Where... Oh, they want it on the strength card. That's interesting. They want it on the strength card. Interesting. So strength. You are in control. You have the courage to rise up and uh, affect your destiny and call it in. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians? I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or describe. Describe? Please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with a chance to win the personal reading, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day and visualize 
what you want to manifest in your world. Choose one thing, really focus on it. Don't be like, you got a list, I want this, I want that, I want this. Just one thing at a time. One thing, 10 minutes. Really see it, really taste it, really, really touch it, really feel it. Imagine you have it. You must visualize like you have it, okay? Because what you can see in the mind, you can have in the hand. You can share it with the group in the comments box below if you wish to, but if you do not wish to, just put the word love and I will pick one lucky subscriber from the comments boxes below and announce the winner on the 12th of April. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.